Welcome to the 7th Global Family Office Investment Summit here in Dubai, hosted by Ritosta Family Office. Here we are with Dr. Watts. Dr. Watts, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me today. I really appreciate it. So let's talk about the summit. It's your first time here. So what are your first impressions, your first feeling about it? I tell you, this is my first time with the summit. And I must tell you, I am absolutely, totally impressed. The professionalism, the skill, the organization, and really the level of investors that are here are just most impressive. So um, let's talk about blockchain. Um, the 2018 is running out, so what are your impressions about it and what do you expect from 2019? I actually think that the blockchain is going to be very big in 2019. Cryptocurrency, however, I think that it will make somewhat of a comeback but the blockchain being used in many fields and especially with me being in medicine, I feel that the blockchain will have amazing and very significant uses going forward into 2019. Mm -hmm. And uh, in your opinion, who realize better the true potential of the blockchain government, companies uh, or the general public and why the others are still behind? I actually think that companies really realize the value of blockchain because now of the immutable aspect of the blockchain being able to track things, I think companies are out in front. I do think governments will pick up as time goes on and then lastly the public will pick up on it. There's always that delay. So let's talk about Nebula Data Intel. What is NDI and how is it disrupting big data in the medical industry? Actually when you look at Nebula Data Intel, we really call it a med fin tech company because we actually extract the data from a medical perspective. The tech portion is that we store the data on the blockchain and all of the transactions are stored on the blockchain using smart contracts. And then the financial aspect of where that data is now being made into a commodity where we actually have our um, data marketplace and here the data can be bought and sold, but again through smart contracts stored on the blockchain. So does the medical world understand the importance of data and have they already started to use data in an efficient way? It's actually interesting. The medical uh, field or the medical community understands that data is important, but they have not figured out how to actually maximize the data. There's essentially a curtain that's blocking the entrance into the medical data space. So it's hospitals, it's doctor's offices, it's actually the electronic medical systems all are an obstruction to getting behind the scenes. At Nebula Data Intel, we figured out how to unlock the key, open up the curtains, and then get behind such that we can gather that data. So what are your future goals? The future goals is to actually do a dual aspect. One is to commoditize the data, but then also use the data for scientific research to improve medicine and to improve humanity. And this is where we're disrupting. We're disrupting the medical field using the data. We're disrupting the financial field by actually being able to buy and sell data as a commodity, and we're disrupting technology using the blockchain. And the seventh edition of the summit is the right place to aim high, so whom would you like to speak to? Have you already had any business meeting? Yes, we've actually spoken to quite a few investors, and there's two sets of people that we would like to meet with. Clearly the investor group, because as a new, um, essentially sp a spin-off, and as we're getting started, we would like to speak with investors, but that's number one. The second thing that we would like, or the second group we would like to speak to, are really people who can help us globalize the data gathering concept so that we can take it into other countries around the world. And we've actually met, uh, met with um, the prince from Ethiopia. We have lunch today with a gentleman from Croatia that would like us to come and actually gather data from Croatia. And then uh, a gentleman from the United Nations wants us to go to Ghana to actually collect data and help them monetize it and improve medicine in those countries. So in a day and a half, we've got three different countries to go to. 
So Dr. Woods, thank you for joining us. Enjoy the summit and good luck for your project. Thank you so much for having me. I truly enjoyed the interview. Thank you.